Well, just outside of Whistler on a rainy day, this isn't great weather for shooting video, but it is great weather for going off-roading. And this is the ultimate off-road vehicle, the G-Class from Mercedes-Benz. I love it in the bright blue. So we're gonna take it off-road and find out why this is the most capable SUV in the world. So the G-Class is a very, very capable off-roader. Mercedes claims it is the most capable. Um, the Defender is out of the marketplace. Actually, it never was in the North American marketplace from Land Rover. Uh, but that was also what is called a body-on-frame design, meaning this has a ladder frame chassis with a body built on top of it. Now, almost all SUVs now are going to unibody design. Even the new Defender from Land Rover is uh, going to unibody design. So this is a vehicle that dates back a long, long way, 1979, so 37 years old. And uh, what they have not changed is the essence of this vehicle. We have three locking differentials. One locks the middle, that's 50-50 front to back. One locks the rear, that's 50-50 to the left and right wheel. And one locks the front, that's 50-50 to the front wheel. So you can basically bind up the whole all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive system here to get all of the wheels crawling along to get you pretty much everywhere. And what's interesting is when you activate this, it turns off traction, stability control, and ABS. So it's really the old, mechanics working comes down to the skill of the driver and the tires and a wonderful platform. Now what's great about the G-Class is that it's not big, it's narrow, which is great. You can see we're going through a, a narrow trail here. You get a really big vehicle and you can't go bushwhacking. You scratch up the whole side of your, there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, this is uh, actually a very nice size for doing this kind of off-roading. And anybody that does off-roading will tell you, bigger vehicles don't do so well. But that's really um, a rare, rare thing to see a G-Class out in the wild. With 416 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque going through a seven-speed automatic to all four wheels, it certainly has enough horsepower and torque to crawl over bumps. And that's the real essence of off-roading is taking your time and crawling over and letting the vehicle do all the work. But it'll also get you to the mall and to dinner uh, in a hurry. Uh, it's interesting that a lot of women drive these, they like them. I think it's that sort of like real um, rough and ready ability of the vehicle and it has an attitude, even though you're never gonna use all of its capability, I guess for many people, they pay for the ability to have it if they need it. We are going to the Iron Shuckle. So Shuckle, the Shuckle is an actual mountain in Graz, Austria that they use for G-Class experience, which is supposed to be very difficult. So what we're doing here is they have recreated this in a trailer format that they can bring anywhere. So we're gonna try this, this is 42 degrees. So 45 degrees is 100% grade. So we are going up 42, which is a 98% grade. We are engaging all three differentials, one, two, and three, the center, the rear, and the front to get maximum straight ahead pulling power. With the front differential engaged, it is basically like a tank. It has maximum straight ahead pulling power, but it does not have great turning capacity. So I'll let, I'll let you go, because you got to concentrate. All righty. So here we go. We got all three dips locked. We're climbing up. Here we go, up to 42 <laughs> degrees. You're basically lying back in your seat. Right. Oh, all you see is sky. Stop. I had done this once before in France and you basically standing up on the floor. Absolutely. Like you're basically your feet. You're holding your feet are up. you're holding yourself on the firewall yeah. and then you're looking straight down. This is where everything that is not battened down in your pockets ends up at the front of the car. Oh. So that's you know awesome. what? You see stuff, you find stuff you haven't seen in years. It's amazing. Straight down. So are you saying that over 45 degrees a vehicle can't do it? That's correct because uh, 45 degrees is where equal rise and run. So most vehicles do, uh, they do not, they wouldn't do that. And you're also limited to the tire. Yep. That's awesome. Thank that you. That's amazing. Thank you. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Very cool.
Mercedes-Benz claims this is the most capable off-road vehicle in the world. Now, if you think about it, the Defender from Land Rover, that's disappearing. The Range Rover does have air suspension for raising and lowering the vehicle, which is handy for going over large bumps. This vehicle has stayed basically true to its essence for 37 years, military grade. It can go off-road and it does it all very comfortably. It's so refined, you see some terrain and you just drive road over it. So it really is impressive. The three locking differentials really is what sets it apart from the competition. But the reality is most owners, that will be lost on them. They're gonna do this, drive their G-Wagon to the Four Seasons in Whistler.